Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you into the kitchen again. Tonight is burrito night. Now, my burritos I make from fairly from scratch and it's a it's an affair because I make smothered burritos because I don't like plain naked burritos. Life's too short to eat boring food. And I'm going to show you step by step how I'm going to make them. And I'm going to show you how, how I do my salsa first. Now it's not a chunky salsa. It's more of the salsa that you get with chips and salsa when you go into a Mexican restaurant. That's how I use it for my burritos. A lot of people who make smothered burritos use enchilada sauce. Hate to tell you, that's not burritos anymore. You don't use enchilada sauce with your burritos. That's a no to me. Alright, let's get the camera adjusted here. And we're going to get busy. This is the first recipe that I'm going to make. It's a several part recipe because you know me uh when i make food i make food okay we're going this is also known as blender salsa as well now i'm using two regular cans two oh crap 14.5 ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes now if you don't have fire roasted tomatoes you can use regular diced tomatoes. The fire roasted tomatoes just give it an extra oomph of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna want where is it? A tablespoon of garlic. Okay. Little bit more. One can of original Rotel. That gives it just a little ump of spice. I want one small onion cut in half and I'm not big on cilantro. I mean, I do eat it, but I'm just going to throw in some fresh parsley for some greens. Now, if you want to, you can also toss in uh, chopped bell peppers. Whatever you like in your salsa. Now, I'm cooking... I am a paid cook, so therefore are a private cook. They are not big into spice. You can add jalapenos as well, but I'm leaving them out. And we're going to want about a, about a teaspoon of cumin. And I, oh, oh, I almost forgot something very important. With your salsa, you always want to use limes. Limes are better tasting in your salsa than lemons. That one's a tough one. All right, I'm gonna squeeze that one. I have to squeeze that one harder. This one's a tough one. There we go.
you're going to want about two teaspoons of lime juice. And I'm not joking, lime juice makes your salsa pop a whole lot better than lemon juice. I'm going to put the... Okay, I'm going to roll today. And we're going to put... a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Make sure your lid's on good. You can see that it is the consistency of the restaurant salsa and of course you want to taste it to make sure you don't have to adjust anything oh my gracious that's good that's good and that's one batch of it I'm going to make another batch, so um, this one's going for um, chips and dip, the other one I'm going to be cooking with. I'll bring you back when I get ready to start on the Spanish rice. See you here in a bit. Okay, now it's time to get started on Spanish rice that I knew when I was a child, the Spanish rice now is nothing like when I was a child. So let's look down here, see what we're going to do. Okay, I have a big skillet here, or you can use a big uh, or medium sized stock pot. I have put some. I'm going to put it about. A tablespoon of good olive oil. Okay, and I am fixing to saute these onions until they're translucent, and I'll bring you right back. The onions are sauteed, and let's get to mixing up. The Spanish rice that I know. It's definitely not this crazy stuff they call now. Now, in with the onions, I have two cups of really good chicken stock. Now, I usually use one large bell pepper, but I didn't feel like chopping it up. So, I'm going to use oh, a little over a quarter a cup of dehydrated bell pepper. And don't worry, it will plump up while it cooks. Now you can use plain diced tomatoes. You can use tomato sauce. And of course, the can opener wants to act up.
you can also use a jar of salsa. I'm using one regular size can of fire roasted tomatoes. This will open for me. about time to get a new can opener and make sure you get everything out of your can I'm going to add just a little bit more water about a quarter cup uh, a quarter of a can of water and of course I'll have the ingredients all in the description box below. Let me draw my measuring cup out really good. cups of extra long grain white rice. Now you can use the rice of your choice. Now that the skillet has cooled down, so oops. <sighs> See, I'm like everybody else, I make mistakes. Especially in the kitchen. I want a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And that's a, about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I want a little bit of pepper in there. It's easier to reach the black pepper than it is the white, so a good sprinkling, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add just a little more water, and that's going to end up being, oh, I'm going to say about another cup mixed, counting what was in the can, what I just had in the measuring cup, I'm going to say an extra cup of water. Now, I'm going to get a good tight fitting lid on this, and I'm fixing to get it started cooking. Now, you're going to cook this just like you would regular rice. Bring it up to a simmer. Drop the flame now. Of course, have a nice good fitting lid on top, and let it cook until the rice absorbs all your water. And I'll bring you back once this is done and cooled a little bit. And I'm going to be um, cooking the ground beef and um, use good ground beef. And I'm going to be cheating. I'm using taco seasoning to season the meat with. And I'm going to have refried beans. And once when I come back, we're going to start putting burritos together. 
burritos, smothered burritos my way. And I'll see you back here in just a little while. Okay, everything is cooked. The Spanish rice that I know as a child, not this lame stuff they serve nowadays. I have my seasoned uh, ground beef, season it however you enjoy. Um, if you use packaged seasoning like I did, follow the directions, except don't use as much water. And I have refried beans, so let's get started. And like I said, mine are considered wet or smothered burritos. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil my pan with some olive oil. Now I have my oven heating up at 350. You want to oil your pan really good. I'm using olive oil. You can use avocado oil. Whichever oil you you enjoy. And, but you're going to want to oil it. And I'm going to pour the homemade salsa on the bottom. You spread it out really good because this is going to be the bottom bed of your burritos. Now, I also use a, a deeper, if you want to use a deeper casserole, that way you can really smother your burritos. Okay, I have my burrito wraps slightly warmed and warmed them up slightly in the microwave because uh, warm burritos fold better. You're going to want to start with a bed of refried, good refried beans. Y'all didn't get to see the Spanish rice. This is what I'm used to called Spanish rice, Mexican rice. Not this stuff they serve you nowadays. It actually had vegetables, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, all in it. Oven's ready. Okay, and I'm going to spread some cheese. Whatever grady, kind of grated cheese that you enjoy. I'm using a Mexican style mix. If you don't want to use meat, you can leave the meat out. And of course, I'll have all recipes in the description box below the video. like fat burritos when you get a hold of that burrito you know that you've got a burrito don't want 
to make the Spanish rice that's fine, you can use plain rice. I personally don't like plain food. If you want to, you can just use the ground beef and the beans and cheese. That'll be fine. You can also omit, add, or add other stuff to it. You just want to be careful. You do not want to break your wraps at all. Because then all the goodness will leak out. We're going to do one more. You could add black olives if you wanted to. You just got to make sure you have enough room to be able to roll them. Don't want to make them so big and wonderful that you cannot roll them. Absolutely love making burritos. And see if your end tries to open up on you, tuck it in there. Alright, I'm going to fill this pan and another pan and I will bring you right back here after a while. See you in a bit. Okay, I have, let's see, 10 burritos in this pan and two four six seven in this pan i've run out of refried beans and didn't want to open up another jar so i'm just leaving it a little vague on this side so as you can see the sauce is coming up on the sides but i like mine to be smothered Of course, as it heats up, the sauce is going to bubble to the top. I'm going to have to be careful. Watch this pan. Make sure that it doesn't bubble over. Mm. Okay. Just a little bit of salsa left over for chips. You're going to want to make sure you use plenty of cheese. And of course, you can leave the cheese off if you wanted to. But it just makes it even so much more wonderful. I'm going to 
I'll put these into a 350 degree preheated oven until everything is bubbling and hot and the cheese is melted and has some really pretty color. And I will bring you back when I bring them out of the oven. See you after a while. They are done. I let them bake for about uh, close to 40 minutes. This one didn't get as much color as this one because it was on the bottom. But you know what? It's still going to eat good. Let's see. It's not strong enough to scoop it out. Make sure you have a stronger spatula. Get that out here in a Definitely want to let it cool before you try to eat it. I'm going to set this aside, let it cool for quite a bit, and then I'll bring you back when it's taste testing time. I'll see you here in a little bit. Okay, now that liquid lava has finally cooled down, I'm going to, and I sat down and took a break, I'm going to. Take me a big old bite. Now they do swell when they cook. Because they soak in all that good juices. But look how beautiful that is. Mm. Oh my gracious, that is so good. I don't cook them often, but when I do, it's a love affair because food's supposed to be good and it's supposed to taste even more amazing. Simple, yes. Easy, yes. A little time consuming, absolutely. But you know what? Good food is worth every second spent making it because it's a love. You're supposed to have a love in your heart for cooking. And it shows in how good it tastes and how it turns out. Now, I will have the complete recipes for the salsa, the, the Spanish rice that I'm used to making since childhood. And everything else. Simple, easy, delicious, and you know what? Homemade. You know exactly what's going into it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I am more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. Everyone, take care. I'm fixing to go have a wonderful dinner. Look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone, stay safe. Continue to prep and stock back. Keep, keep calm. Stay peaceful. And don't panic. It's not worth it. And don't listen to the fear mongers. Yes, things are bad. But you know what? We can make it better. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. I'll see you soon.